Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Latte Love, and we have Mark behind the camera. Hey guys, what are we taking a look at here, Todd? We have two doserless grinders up today. We have a Profitech Pro T64, and we have the Quamar M80 Electronic. Both are designed to dose directly in your portafilter by time. It doesn't control weight, it controls time. And let's take a look at the Profitech first. Mm -hmm. We have two buttons up top. We have the single shot button, which I have right now programmed for 4.9 seconds which you can see down here. Then we have the double shot button, which we have programmed for 6.4 seconds. So to make it out, to operate it, you just push and release the button. And you can see how nice a job it does there. Yeah. Okay, nice. fills it pretty good. Very little coffee spills over. Right. And we have this program in 6.4 seconds to give us about 18 grams of coffee. Yeah. Uh, now, if you don't want to just do a little bit, let me dump this out here. Why don't you just, just bump it? Let's say you don't want to give it a full dose. You just want to add a little more. You just push and push. You can just push twice. And just get a little more. You can bump yep. a little more in there. Yep. And then also just, well, we got, I mean, we got this beautiful machine sitting right next to it. And they're kind of designed to work together. Oh, yeah, we got right? to bring that up. For the look. Yeah, they're designed to look really beautiful on your counter together to match. Yeah. A lot of people buy a high-end machine, but they don't have the grinder to match, so it may look a little odd if you got one of those billion-dollar counters and billion-dollar kitchens. Right. So this will take care of that for you. You know, it's, the, uh, it's got the stainless steel, yeah. same as the Pro 700 machine, same type of display. To car. To car, yeah. yeah. And the sides, the brush stainless here, these little cutouts yeah. match the drip tray and the cup warmer on that. So they, they look really nice together. Yeah. And it is a very good, high-quality grinder. I do highly recommend this. Very nice. We use it quite a bit, especially this. We had a, uh, a prototype in for a long time, and we tested the heck out of it. So that's on the controls on the Profitech. Now on the uh, Quamar, a little bit different. These aren't actual buttons. These are touch. It's like a touch-sensitive button. Don't yeah. push on it. Just push and release. I'll show you how we do. We have this one programmed for how many seconds, Mark? Uh, 4.35 to get about 18 grams. Yeah, so it grinds a little bit faster. You just push it, or touch it, excuse me. Yeah. And all this coffee was from before, so. Yep. You've been playing here. There we go. Here, excuse me a second. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, and we do have these open up. We're going to take a look at the burrs for each, mm -hmm. and you can see them kind of yep. on the background there. So we have a single shot, double shot, and triple shot, all programmable. Then you have a manual button. To bump this one, you push or touch and touch. A little delay in it, so it's kind of hard yeah. to get it exactly what you want. It takes us a little bit of getting used to those buttons. Yeah, it if does. You do want to push them, but they're just like kind of touch sensitive, yeah. really. And you can stop at any time by touching it again. Right. Now, they, they both have um, <laughs> port filter holders that are adjustable. Okay. So you can adjust that up yeah, and down. Little, There's a little, little screw Phillips head screw on this one. And then over on the profit tuck, it's really just the yeah, right there, a couple of ounce screws. The holder, and so this, the whole thing doesn't go up and down. Just that little holder piece. Correct. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. And then I guess another really big difference between the two of these is one is you know technically a stepped grinder, and one is yeah mm -hmm. not. So so to adjust the grind setting on the uh, Quamar, you push down. And you go that preset amount. So it's, it's got those little, little groove. grooves yep. in there. So you got, yep. and there's 60 of those around the hole. So one rotation, you have 60 stops. Did you count those? Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and on the Profit Tech, um, like the worm gear. Yeah, little worm gear on this. Yeah. And cool. move it as little or as much as you want. Yep. So you can see when you move it like that, you see how little it actually adjusts it. You can get super, super you fine adjustment. Fine tune the heck out of this one. Yeah. Nice little touch here too, a little rubber, like an O-ring on there. Right. Feels good on your hand. Now, I guess so tech, you know, so this is a stepless grinder, the the Quamar M80 technically stepped, but step I mean grinder. really with 60 indents around in a rotation, that's you can fine-tune them pretty good. Yeah. You're not gonna have a yes, problem you can. really. Now the programmability of them, or excuse me, it's easy, so they're both easy to program, but this the Quamar has a lot of information, so let's say you're running a small cafe. You don't really want to run a large cafe off of this, but right. we're going to try and breeze through this pretty quick, how to program this and things it'll show you. So if you touch the menu button and hold it, okay? Three seconds, yeah. Okay. Program timeout, that's for your first one. Mm -hmm. Hit the plus button. That's for your second button. Hit the plus Two button. Shots. That's, that's your third. The and you want to program shots. it, you just hit touch the OK, then the plus or the minus, 
to change your seconds. In five hundredths of a second mm -hmm. in intervals. And you hit OK. Oops, excuse me, touch. <laughs> hit the plus. And that's when how long you can set before it goes into standby energy savings mode. Like you really Just turns energy. off that screen right there pretty much, yeah. Wear mill. So that's how many you can set. Yeah. After 50,000 coffees, you'll get a you'll message. get a message that says, "Hey, time to check your change your burst." Now right. what what so the single shot was counts as one, the double counts as two, triple counts as three, three. shots. Right. So, okay. Hit okay. We'll go to the next one. Bar message. So you can put a so, little. Yeah, you can say like say I can make it say hi Todd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something goofy like that, but or good morning or or that. Okay. Yeah. Brightness, change brightness on the screen. And time and date. Day. Total count. So, give you so this many? one has yeah. brewed. We've uh, 86 shots have been uh, ground. Uh, ground, ground. Yeah. And then that much longer, the 49,914, until it gives you the message that it's time to change your burst. Right. Total count. So that's so partial count. One that's kind of resettable. You and can one reset that's not, that. Yep. Yeah. How many per month? And in languages. So you can change the languages. Okay. On it. And then we'll hit then. escape. We'll get out of there. Okay. And then over on the profit tech. Profit tech. Mm. You change the grind setting or the, the seconds. Push and release. And that's the, the single. The yeah. Okay. So you push up and then down. Okay. And then wait. And you hit the down arrow. Goes to PT2. That's for your double shot. You gotta go quick when you do this. Okay. okay. Yep. Yeah. If you delay, it'll go back into non-adjustable mode. Right. You gotta. If you want to get in farther to look at the um, amount of coffees the, you've the yeah. counter, yeah. yeah. Push it, then down, down, then up. Those are your thousands. There's your hundreds. So 357 coffees have been ground. And if it was 1,000, you'd have a one there. Yep. Okay. And then if you're going to. I'll just turn off and back on to get out of the program mode. So let's, do you want to take a look at the burrs or you want to. Okay, let's yeah. zip over here. So they're kind of, kind of a little, I okay. mean, similar but different. Yeah. yeah. Both right around 450 watt motors. Mm -hmm. Pretty powerful motors, uh, very powerful. And here's the burrs. You have 64 millimeter on the Profit Tech. We have 63 on the Quammar, so very similar in size. Totally diff different cut on the burrs. This is yeah. on these burrs, you'll find these in other high-end grinders, such as like the Mazer and the Chiados. These are a lot finer, yeah. a lot more cuts. So this yeah. is kind of like a two-level cut on the on the Quammar and a three-level cut on the mm -hmm. Profit Tech there. Yep. And now the way the the burrs screw in, these both they screw in to place here. But right. the Quamar, or the, excuse me, the Profitech has a rubber O-ring here. This then, rubber O-ring will prevent coffee from getting past this point here up into the threads. Right. So you notice, even though we've used this grinder, the threads are very clean. Yep. And the Quamar doesn't have that, so you have the potential to get the coffee up into threads here. But you see a little bit of that. Yeah. Is it a huge deal? Not really. Yeah. But it's, it's nice if it doesn't. But So if you ever yeah. take the grinder apart for cleaning or for replacing the birds, you want to clean this out real good. Yeah. Just get a touch a bit of lube in there. Just a mm -hmm. touch bit, and then you can screw them back down into place. Right. And this, when you take them off, you unscrew this, take this out. There's a spring in there. Be, be careful you don't lose that. Yeah. Yeah. I always kind of wanted to boing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that later. Okay. And to get these burrs out, just take out these two Allen screws that hold your uh, that worm gear. the worm gear on there, and then there's just unscrews. Right. Oh, if you do try and take these burrs out, just have to loosen up this set screw. Or it'll hit these stops over here, right on there, right. and it can't come out. So if you're turning okay. it and it won't go any farther, just loosen that screw. Loosen that screw up, and then mm -hmm. you're good to go. Yep. Now, the bean hoppers, I have to grind a little bit of coffee out of here, so I'm going to take these hoppers off. Yep. So I'm just going to do that now. Close the, they both have doors on them. They'll trap doors you can close. Mm -hmm. One thing other I want to show you on these. Just give me a second if you could. Yeah. Close this trap door. Okay. 
Okay. And uh, Provitec, again, another little O-ring here. Lots of O-rings on yeah. that Provitec. Creates a really nice seal when you set it down inside there. Yeah. You notice this is a relatively narrow opening. Right. Well, on the Quamar, they have a much larger opening. Yeah. Okay. And on the Quamar bean hopper, you have a little rubber piece around the top here to help mm -hmm. seal it. Nice seal. And uh, it's a clear. Well, the bean hopper on this one is, is the, uh, the dark one. It doesn't have a rubber seal, but it does seal. It, does, yeah. it seals nice. Yep. You can feel almost like a little vacuum you're pulling it you're off. Pulling it out, right? Yeah. And then that stays in place. And it does have a set, set screw, screw there, but. Yeah, but with that rubber. We've never used it, right? You don't really need it. <laughs> Same uh, thing over this comes pretty loose, so you might want to put that in. Yeah. Not that it's ever going to pop off. Right. Okay, what else we got? Uh, we got a removable grounds tray there. This is built right in. Mm -hmm. Normally that doesn't happen. I'm just you trying just to get some coffee there. through there pretty yeah. quick. And both have you, you know, the power, the main power switch here on the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, main power, power switch over here. And on the, the puff tech is on the back. Back on the back. Yep. Both lit, so you can tell when it's on. Yeah. Also, the displays obviously will tell you that it's on. Yeah. Well, in general, I think we pretty much have it covered. Yeah, both, uh, you know, really, really nice grinders. We've pulled really nice shots with both of them, right? I yeah, mean, and you know. uh, what I like is the uh, the amount of grains we get per, for the time yeah. is pretty consistent. Yeah. I've been happy with both of them. The Quamar grinds a little faster, right. and uh, that's about it. All right. Okay, well, I'm Todd with a whole latte love, and that's the Quamar M80 Electronic and the Profitec Pro T64. Thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Oh.